A CT scanner is a medical imaging device that takes an x-ray tube and goes all the way around the patient so that it takes a picture from every angle and it's really like a big Sudoku puzzle that you solve the inside of the Sudoku puzzle in a computer by taking all these x-ray pictures and figuring out what had to be in the inside. And so with it, we can see cross-sectional anatomy. CT exams are extremely safe. Over the past decade, the radiation doses used in CT has been cut by almost a factor of two. Now, the manufacturers have been working on new technology to reduce the amount of radiation used, not so much because we believe that the radiation is dangerous, but just to be prudent. I can take two Tylenol for a headache and not worry about it being dangerous. But if one Tylenol will get rid of my headache, it is prudent medicine to take a lower dose. And that's what we want with radiation. Also, because CT is so helpful in medicine, patients may receive multiple CTs over the course of their life. And we want the dose from each one to be so low that patients don't have to worry that they've had multiple ones. The amount of radiation that is needed to scan a child is much less than is needed to scan an adult because the child is so much smaller. What we have done over the past decade is as a community launch national and international campaigns to make sure that CT providers understand they need to right size the dose and dial down for the little ones. In this way, we ensure that kids are getting a child sized dose and not an adult dose. When I talk with a patient to help reassure them about getting a CT scan, one of the things that I cover is the fact that radiation has a bad rap. The Incredible Hulk, Spider-Man, these mutants were all from some radiation exposure. That's science fiction. The truth is we are all exposed to radiation every day of our lives from the sun, from the soil, and CT is at the dose levels that is essentially the same as these background levels of radiation. With regards to natural background radiation, the amount we're all exposed to every day, if you look at a map of the U.S., there are some areas that have higher levels of background radiation. They're at higher elevations, like in Colorado, or they have more radon in their soil. Those areas of the country actually have lower cancer rates. And so if radiation is causing an effect, it's not something we can see on a broad scale. We encourage patients to talk with their physician and find out why the physician has asked for a CT scan to be done. If there is a reason and the information from the CT will help guide their medical care, then by all means the patient should go ahead and have that exam and not worry about this small theoretical risk. And also once the decision has been made that the CT is justified, the patient should look for an imaging provider that is accredited by a national organization such as the American College of Radiology.